Hello guys, today teacher want to share with you one essay question from SPN 2010. This is an essay question. So diagram 6.2 shows the transmissions of the nerve impulse from neuron P to neuron R. Explain the transmissions of the nerve impulse from neuron P to neuron R across Q. So, Alright, before we answer these questions, let's do some revision. So this is the pathway of the transmissions of the impulses. So firstly, let's look at stimulus. Stimulus is the changes that can occur in at the insides or outsides of our body. So if the changes is occur from outside, we call it as a external stimulus, such as uh, light, heat. And if the changes is occur from inside of our body, we call it as a internal stimulus such as blood glucose level and body temperature. So these changes or stimulus will be detected by the receptor. Receptor then will convert the stimulus into electrical impulses. So these impulses will be transmitted to the central nervous system through afferent neuron. So here, the functions of central nervous system is to interpret and integrate the information. So means that when the stimulus is received by the central nervous system, for example, the brain, so the brain will decide what to do towards these uh, changes. So next, the new impulses will be transmitted to the effector by efferent neuron. Effector, which is our muscles or gland, will produce a response. For muscles, the muscle will contract or for the gland, it will secrete a hormone. So now we can say that there is three types of neuron, which are the afferent neuron, interneuron and efferent neuron. And the transmissions of this neuron is by electrical impulses. However, between these three neurons, there is a gap which is called synapse. So it means that uh, there is two synapses between afferent neuron and interneuron, and another one is between interneuron and efferent neuron. So synapse is actually a narrow gap. Synapse is important to ensure that impulses can only travel in one direction. To understand what is synapse, look at these pictures. So synapse is like a river which is separating between these two lines. So in order to cross the river, you need to have a boat. The boat will help you to cross the river, isn't it? So for synapse, it will separating between two neurons. So in order to cross the neuron, you need to have the chemicals called neurotransmitter. So it means that the neurotransmitter will help the impulses to cross the gap, which is the synapse. Back to the questions. Uh, when you get a question, try to study and label the diagram given. So it will help you to answer the questions better. So you can see here there is two neuron involved which is neuron P and neuron R and Q is the gap between these two neuron. In neuron P the transmissions of the information along this neuron is occur in form of electrical signal or nerve impulses. You can see the nerve impulses is arrive at the axon terminal of neuron P. So 
So when the impulse arrive at the axon terminal of neuron P, it will cause the synaptic vesicle to move toward the presynaptic membrane and then fuses with the membrane to release the neurotransmitter. After the synaptic vesicle fuses with the membrane, it will release the neurotransmitter into the synaptic cleave which is Q. So this neurotransmitter molecule will diffuse across the synaptic cleave into the postsynaptic node of the neuron R. Now you see right along the neuron, the transmissions of the impulses is in form of uh, electrical impulses. But to across the synapse, the impulses will be converted into chemical signal by using neurotransmitter. Okay, then this neurotransmitter molecule will bind with the specific receptor at the postsynaptic membrane. When they reach the postsynaptic membrane of neuron R, the new impulses is formed and then it will be transmitted along neuron R once again in electrical impulses. Can you see now why TK said earlier that synapse is only allow the transmissions of the impulses in one direction? Okay, the answer is because synaptic vesicles is only can be found in pre-synaptic membrane. So to across the synapse, the synaptic vesicle can release the neurotransmitter. But at post-synaptic membrane, there is no synaptic vesicles. So guys, this is a summarized a suggested answer to answer this question. So when you get this question, please make sure you elaborate it one by one to get more mark. Okay guys, see you next time. Don't forget to do lots of exercises. Remember, practice make perfect. Bye!